hi guys welcome back to another market breakdown video and then if you're new to this channel consider subscribing and clicking the notification before we get into today's video i want to tell you that we have a special running for mentorship and signals and then of which it's 529 dollars uh, for a lifetime membership and then on today's analysis we've got the dxy euro usd usd chf and the usd gold euro gpy and aed gpy so i'll start with the DXY on the weekly chart. As you all know, we have been looking for buying opportunities on the DXY so that we can just fill this area here just because we got the sell previously around this point and we have an overall ascending channel like this at the top of the structure. So what I'm anticipating at the moment is for us to get like some buying opportunities up until the overall high around this point here, of which is at 120.009. This is the overall high that I'm looking for. And then looking closely inside this overall trend, we have a double bottom. As we previously looked at the market, we had like a double bottom, of which is also the 90% rule for this ascending channel around this point here. So we expect some buying opportunities let's check the daily chart so we expect some buying opportunities just because we also have this mass psychology activation around this point so that is the main reason that we are looking for those buys and then getting those buys will give us like some uh, good opportunities on dollar uh, pairs like your euro usd your usd chf we will get like some uh, nice setups so we have this overall descending channel and on the descending channel, we have that mass psychology activation, as I always say. And then we can aim for the 90% or we can aim for the overall high, just because you all know that the market can just give us like this type of movement whereby we get those buys and then we get the double top and then we sell off from there. Just like this, we get those buys up until the 90%. We break structure, we come back to this area. Then that is when we get like those selling opportunities from there. So I'll just keep like these analysis intact. And then let's switch to the four hour chart. So on the four hour, uh, on the previous videos, if you haven't watched them, you can just go back and watch them. We were looking for that uh, descending channel within this area here, of which we got like some type of an expanding, but it's still okay. And then we got a clear push to the upside supported by the NFP news release. And then this is the overall structure that we have. And then I'm going to keep like a ray line at this area here just because we can get like some type of a double top within here and then decide to sell off up until we get like a clear picture perfect descending channel for us to buy out from there. So I'll keep this type of analysis like this. And then on the hour, we have this structure. And then as I always say, guys, draw out like the overall structures that are visible to you so that you can just train your mind and eyes for these patterns and then always know how they work out in the longer term move and then we also have like some type of a descending channel within here that i should cater for it's not picture perfect but it works and then we also have like a decent we also have like a double bottom area here in a form of the left shoulder the head and the right shoulder and then we took those buys from here so that is it for the DXY. So now we can look forward to uh, analyzing Euro USD. So let's start on the weekly chart on Euro USD. So since the DXY is pointing to the upside, then it means we are looking for selling opportunities on Euro USD. So let's uh, try and analyze and see if we can get like those selling opportunities. And then as you can see here, on the weekly chart, we have this overall descending channel around this point. And we have the 90% of it. And then we have the low point of which you're boxing out this price action here so that you can just focus on it. And then on the daily, let's check the daily chart. So on the daily, we are currently at this area here of which around this area here of which we had like this mass psychology activation. Let me just uh, do this. Okay, so we have this mass psychology activation around this point. And then if you 
cater for the current market structure around this point, you'll see that we are already at that uh, 90% rule of this overall descending channel that we had previously, of which is this one here. So now we are looking for those selling opportunities since the DXY is giving us uh, those opportunities to sell. And then even the uh, Euro USD uh, pair is giving us that nice setup that we always look forward to. Having the double top override and we have the pattern but then a pattern in a form of an ascending channel. And then we already have momentum in our favor. As you can see here, we had like this nice push to the downside. We had the evening we had the engulfing candlestick pattern and then we had the push down. So it's enough for us to take like some selling opportunities next week. And then we can also put like the overall 90%, the four hour, let's check the four hour chart. So on the four hour, uh, I always check for momentum. As you can see, the momentum is there guys. The momentum is there. We have momentum here and then we have this ascending channel around this point so i'm just going to cater for this overall move like this just to make sure that i'm in uh, a good setup and then the reason why i had like this trend line pointing to the outside is because we can get like those push back to the upside create the third touch just because we have this one two so we can create the third touch before we can sell off so i'm keeping uh the setup like this just to cater for that area and then let me just do this. Make sure that I'm catering for the touches clearly. And it doesn't matter here. We have a near miss, but it does not matter. It's okay. We can have that. And then I'll have another relay line here at the top of the structure. So I'll just remove this one just because we know that we are in a nice setup whereby we had that mass psychology activation. And then this is the setup so far. So uh, our entry would be around this point here whereby we can get like some type of a move to the upside let me just do this make sure that i'm using the right tool so we can have like a push to the upside then we can sell off around there and then also you can see that we had like a few touches around here a few touches and then we have this as our head then we can have like a corrective move to the upside just like this if i get into it too much we can have like some type of a corrective move on our way to the upside just to tap this area in a form of an ascending channel like this then we get that selling opportunity around this point our stop loss is just above this area here and then we target this 90 percent rule around this point and we target the overall 90 percent of which it's this one here for about 14 percent all in all and then another uh, entry criteria that we take is this one here, whereby we wait for the tight flag, of which it will happen uh, next week. We already had a retest of this area here, so we can expect a six to eight hour tight flag around this point, whereby we get this type of a tight flag, always flat. It must be always flat, and then your stop loss is just above. Your entry is just below here, and then you have this type of movement going on. You know that you're targeting this area around here for about 5.6%. The overall target is at about 10% for this move. And then we have this overall room around here whereby we can hold this trade and swing this trade for an overall 23%. And then looking at USDCHF, let me refresh, start on the weekly chart. So Looking at USD CHF or USD Swiss, uh, previously we were looking for those buying opportunities just because uh, it was in a high value area of which we have this double bottom. And then we were waiting for the DXY to give us like a clear direction of which it's trying to give it uh, to us for next week, of which we can expect like some buying opportunities on the DXY. So we have this overall double bottom move and then we can have like this area also catered for. As you can see, we have two mass psychology activations. We have this one and this one around this point, of which is a clear uh, indication that we can get like those impulsive moves to the upside. And then we came in a form of a descending channel, as you can see here, in a form of a descending channel. And then for us to be like on the safe side, we can uh, get like some buying opportunities up until this point here, of which 
as the overall 90% rule of this area. And if we decide to break like this 90% rule and reach this point, that is when we can decide to swing. And then whenever we swing, it means that we have to break structure and then create some type of a corrective move whereby it shows that we are still continuing with the order flow of which we are continuing with the buys. Then uh, on the four hour, let's check the four hour for momentum. And then I'll try and remove one ray line at the top. And then we also have a double bottom within here that should be catered for, as you can see around this point, we had this double bottom around here. And then the entry for this one is quite simple. As you can see, we haven't uh, had like any clear entry on the four hour. Let's check the hour chart. So on the hour, we had this type of a descending channel around this point. It's not perfect, but it works. This one here, we had the descending channel. We had this retest around this point here, of which it went to the downside a bit around this area here. It went to the downside a bit and then it impulsed to the upside. So what, what we can wait for is a clear push out of this area. And then if we come back and retest the trend line, it's still okay in a form of a descending channel like this. Then we can expect those buys. Let me just do this. Just to show you a clear uh, illustration of what I'm talking about. If we get this type of a retest whereby it's a tight flag, but in a descending format, and then comes back to retest this value area around here, then we can look for those buys up until the 90%. Let me just refresh this, apply to defaults. Then our stop loss is just below. Our target is around here for about six. Let me just uh, make sure that it's clear for about six, uh, 6 6.2 percent and then the overall target of which it's at the highs let me check for the highs so on the highs we have 16.7 percent all in all for this move and then this is what i'm expecting and then if this type of retest does not happen then we have another entry whereby it's a push to the upside then we expect that six to eight hour tight flag around this point then that is when we take the entry at the top of the structure just like this stop loss just below and then our entry is at the top with a uh, pending order you use a pending order not the market execution just to be on the safe side and then what i like about pending orders is that whenever the market is still playing around this point whenever it pushes to the upside you're in the trade you move your stop loss uh, same time on break even, so you don't lose anything. You can just wait for the trade to hit your TP1 and your TP2 if you're seeing the trade. So looking at NZD USD, uh, firstly, let me refresh the charts and then start on the weekly chart. So NZD USD, same as uh, Euro USD, we are looking for selling opportunities. As you can see here, we had the push down, corrective move, push down. Corrective move, push down, corrective move, push down, corrective move, push down. So in this area here, we expect the market to push to the downside. And then we have a few areas whereby the market did not tap. As I always say, whenever we have this type of weak creation, the market will tend to gravitate towards that area to feel that weak creation before pushing to any direction that it wants. So we have this type of uh, scenario here. And then we have the high point. So I'm just going to be focusing on this area here on the daily chart. So on the daily, we have this overall high here. And then we had this one here as our, as our mass psychology activation. And then as you can see at the top of the structure, we had a triple top formation. We had this formation, first touch, second touch, third touch. I'm not going to count this one. So we have a triple top formation. Then we also have the ascending channel on its way to the top of that mass psychology area. And then on this uh, scenario here, I'm just going to pattern separate just to make sure that I have like every pattern on its own. So this one on its own, this one at the top of the structure on its own, as you can see here. And then we have the four hour. Then as you can see, momentum is on our side on this one. There's no need to check for momentum. As you can see, it's pushing very nicely. 
And then we have a pattern within a pattern around here of which it builds confidence to our trade, to our trades. And then we have this ascending channel. And then we had this double top formation or we had an override, if you want to call it that. Around here, we can just focus on this area of which this could have been like a nice entry around here. And then I have a video about like uh, candlestick formations. As you can see here, we have this evening star formation or an engulfing candlestick pattern. And then your stop loss is just above. You wait for this candle close. And then you are targeting the lows, as you can see. Could have been a nice trade on the hour chart. Let's check the hour. So on the hour, we had like this area here whereby we can take an entry or this one here for the tight flag that I always talk about. As you can see, it's not picture perfect, but it's still okay. Stop loss just below, entry just below here. Stop loss just above. And then as you can see, it moved very nicely. So for our second entry on this one is that you must have a zone around here, whereby if we don't get the retest from this point, first of all, we opt in for the tight flag of which is the six to eight hour tight flag. Same as this one here, and then we look for those selling opportunities. And then if that does not work, then we look forward to getting this break and retest. And then we look for those selling opportunities at the top of the structure, stop loss just above here. And then we are targeting this area here for our first take profit, second take profit, it's at the lows around this point. And then even if you have like some uh, targets around this point, just because the market can just give you like some type of a double bottom around this point and then decide to push back to the upside. You can just do that. It's fine. So on the setup, we have a few scenarios and then we'll see which one plays first. And then we will uh, take that entry that we get firstly. And then looking at uh, gold, let's look at gold. And then same as gold, we start from a higher time frame to a lower time frame. And then we have this high point, my psychology area, and then we have this highest point. And then I'll also cater for this one here, just because it's also a value area. And then we have this weak creation of which the market tends to fail all the time. And then we have this triple bottom area on the lower time frame, this area here. And then on the daily chart, on the daily, you can clearly see that uh, mass psychology activation in play. And then we have this ascending channel around here. And then we have the 90%. And then on the four hour chart, we check for momentum. And then as you can see, the momentum is there on all the setups that I have for next week. And then we already pushed to the downside. I can just remove this ray line here. We had some type of a double top override. Then on the hour, on the hour chart, we had like some type of a pattern within a pattern around this point. And then price action was playing around in this area here. So it means I can just put like my uh, ray line just like that. And then price action was playing around this area. And then what I'm expecting at the moment, since we clearly had like the first tight flag around this point, then it means we can have like a larger flag of which the market can just gravitate back to this area, retest and then play around a little bit before pushing back to the downside. So I'm expecting a larger flag in this area here so that we can continue selling up until the overall target. We can have like a few targets of which is this one here. Another target could be this one. So I'll just move this one just below here. And then we can take the entry just here at the top of the structure. Stop loss just above. And then we expect this is our first target, second target. And then this is our third target for 14%. So looking at Euro JPY on the weekly chart. So Euro JPY has a few uh, things that I was looking at. So we have this high, we have this highest high, and then we have the slowest low here. So the reason why I'm not going to analyze this one is because we have some messy price action around this point here. So I'm just going to leave this one as my wild card. I'm going to focus on it. I'm going to keep checking up on it. 
uh, during the week, but I think it's not ready as of yet, just because this is a messy price action. Everything that I want in a pair has been accomplished on this one, but I don't think it's ready yet to be traded. As you can see here, we have this ascending channel and it's messy. Let's look at the daily. Let's check the daily. So as you can see on the lower time, on the higher time frames, it's still all over the place. Let's check the four hour. So as you can see on the four hour, you can look for buying opportunities, but I think that's not ready as of yet. I don't think it's a trade that I'll be taking for next for next week. Rather, I take like the uh, Euro USD or uh, USD CHF, but on Euro JPY, I don't think it's one that I'll be trading. As you can see, it's a little bit messy. So let's look at AUDJPY on the weekly chart. So AUDJPY on the weekly chart, we have this high point. We have this lowest point around here. Then we had this ascending channel around here, just like this. Make sure that I'm catering for those areas nicely. AUDJPY is better than EURJPY. As you can see, we have some clear structures happening in this area here. And then we had like some type of a break in this point whereby we can have like this as an impulse corrective move, impulse corrective move here on the lower time frames for us to get like those selling opportunities. So rather I opt in for this one here rather than AUD, rather than EURJPY. So let's look at the daily chart. So on the daily, we had a clear structure whereby we broke this, the ascending channel, came back to retest some key points around this point here. If you switch to line chart, you'll see that this is a key point whereby the market had to retest like that area. And then on the four hour, that is where we check for momentum always. And then as you can see here, we had like some type of uh, a lot of patterns that were forming up in this area here. So I can just try and cater for them so that you can get to understand how I draw my patterns. So this is an ascending channel. This is a tight flag around here, just like this. Um, okay, so let me check this one also. And then this is a good exercise for you guys so that you can get, so that you can get to understand each and every pattern movement. So you can just draw them up, make sure that you know how the pattern reacts. As you can see, we had like a corrective move to the downside, but in a form of a tight flag, larger flag here, tight flag also around this point, also in this point here, but in a form of an impulse correction, impulse correction. So we have this larger flag that is going on around this point, which is the one that we're going to take to the downside. So that is where we're going to put like our minds around here. So let me just push this one to the back a bit so that I can just focus on this area here. I know that we had like some type of a retest, but I can just make sure that I'm catering for the right areas. As you can see here, we have the larger flag. And then on the hour chart, we have this area here that we should be catering for like this ascending channel then we had this area here of which it was tapped and then my entries for this one is in this area here so if we break this area here then i'm expecting those selling opportunities as you can see we are moving in a form of a downtrend around here so you can just cater for it and then give you uh, it will give you like a guide Whenever we are still in this area here, whenever we are at the top of the structure, you look for sales. And then if it's correcting to the upside, you look for sales around this area. You look for corrective buys around here for scalps. And then you look for long-term sales in that area. So for this one, I'll be waiting for the market to reach uh, this key point around here. This key point, let me just do this. Then I'll just remove this one at the top. Then what I'll be what I'll be expecting is for the market to correct around this point, and then we get like those long-term sales around that point. Sell, stop loss just above this area so that I can be in the markets for long. Even if 
we get like some uh, weak creations, I can still be in the market. And then the targets are at the lows. Uh, at the lows, the first target is around this point here. I always target the lows of any pattern. So this is the pattern that I'm targeting for now. And then on the larger take profit, we have the overall target at this area here. So this can be a nice swing for 41%, of which we won't get like the overall 41%, but I'll be making sure that if we get like to this uh, nice area around here, I can take profit and then just wait for another uh, entry of which it will be 16% for this uh, trade to reach like this point. Then yeah, guys, I'll see you on another video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, market breakdown. And then drop a comment of which, uh, on which setup you're going to take on all these setups that I shared with you. You can just drop a comment on which setup that you liked and then you're going to take for the next week.